Welcome to the first MyGo tutorial, where you'll learn about your MyGo instrument, software and QPCR kits. In this first video we'll be looking at the MyGo 5 demo kit. The MyGo 5 is a QPCR demo kit aimed at demonstrating multiplex performance on the MyGo Pro. It's easy to use and contains all of the reagents you'll need to demonstrate a 5plex QPCR reaction in the MyGo Pro. This video will teach you everything you need to know when storing, handling and running the kit. To obtain the best results, you'll need some additional lab equipment. Our application specialists like to keep them close to hand in our mobile lab. These include a tube rack, a centrifuge, pipettes and pipette tips. You'll also need a pen to label your tubes. You should use MyGo Pro 8 well strips and caps. A vortex will also be useful when mixing, but is not essential. Finally, you'll need a laptop or PC, and a MyGo Pro to run your experiment. The kit contains one vial of MyGo Probe's Master, which is a lyophilized master mix, and a buffer that's used for resuspension. The kit also contains six DNA tubes, with caps colored red, orange, yellow, green, violet, and blue. The DNA tubes will generate signals from different fluorescent reporters that the MyGo Pro will discriminate between. From red to violet, the tubes will generate signals from FAM, Cal540, Cal560, Cal610, or Cal635 reporters. The tube with the blue cap will generate signals from all five reporters. First, we need to make up the master mix. Take 1350 microliters or two 675 microliter aliquots of the MyGo buffer and add to the MyGo probe's master vial. Give the master mix a quick vortex and then leave to settle for one minute. Before opening your DNA tubes, spin them down in a centrifuge. This will make sure that all the contents are at the bottom of the tubes. Once spun down, pipette 200 microliters of the MyGo Probe's master into each tube. Make sure that you change your pipette tip for each new DNA tube. Before mixing, centrifuge each tube to ensure all our contents are at the bottom of the tube, and then leave for two minutes to settle. While we wait, we can get our tubes ready. We recommend using our MyGo 8 well strips. Now we'll need to mix the tubes thoroughly. We would recommend mixing the tubes like this for at least 20 seconds, vortexing them, and then centrifuging them down. It's important that these tubes are mixed very well after settling. Once mixed, we can now pipette them into the strips. Pipette four 20 microliter aliquots into the first column, starting with the blue DNA tube. Repeat with the purple tube into the next column, followed by the green, yellow, orange, and red DNA tubes. The remaining wells do not need to be filled with any reagents. Seal 
the tubes with the MyGo 8 well strip caps and if available, add extra force. Make sure that each strip is sealed securely and take care when sealing the tubes not to damage the rims of the caps. Strips can be labelled on the top but must not be labelled from the side. Remove bubbles by centrifuging down the strips. Load the tubes into your MyGo Pro Press down to ensure a secure fit. Close the lid until it locks and you're ready to begin your experiment. The MyGo5 experimental template contains all the settings needed to perform the run and can be downloaded from the link at the end of this tutorial. To summarise, the MyGo5 reaction preparation procedure involves the following steps. Add 1,350 microliters of buffer to the vial of MyGoProbe's master and leave it to settle for one minute. Spin DNA tubes down and then add 200 microliters of MyGoProbe's master. Leave to settle for two minutes, then mix thoroughly. Pipette DNA tube contents into MyGo 8 well strips, seal the strips, then spin down the strips and load them into the MyGo Pro. Start the run using the MyGo5 software template. The MyGo5 demo kit should be stored at room temperature and out of direct sunlight. It can be stored for 12 months before it's made up. Once the kit has been made up, store it at 4 degrees C and use within 12 hours. If you have any further questions, don't hesitate to contact your local technical support representative. Thanks for watching.